Vlogsmas Day 5, and this is something that you should probably put on your wish list. Smithsonian Newton's Cradle. So let's get into this. Oh yeah, before we get into this, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the notification bell. Ooh. poster says. Okay, so, hmm, interesting. So they have different experiments on the back of this post, so you can try with the Newton's Cradle. And has a few facts about Isaac Newton. Has a stirred law of motion inside the poster. It says, law of action and reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's principle, how the frick did he say that? Principa, I guess, was also notable in that it presented the notion that a force called gravity caused everything in our world, earth, the planets, and objects, to move according to the same laws of nature. And apparently, Newton actually did tell the story of an apple falling from a tree as his inspiration for the theory of gravity, but no one knows, oh wait, but no one knows if he told the story to make the concept easier to grasp or if the apple incident really did happen. Think of how amazing it is that a natural philosopher in the 1600s without benefit of actually being able to go to space or see the planets conceived the theory of gravity, a theory that ultimately helped us go into space. I wonder what time was like before the, before the theory of gravity. Okay, so let's see about these experiments that we can do. Option one, experiment with the number of balls you lift up on either side of the cradle. Start with just one ball on one side, then try two balls on one side, then three, then four. Okay, make a prediction about what will happen before each experiment. What changes as you change the number of balls you swing? Is what you thought is it what you thought would happen? Can you draw any conclusions as you compare your predictions to your results? Well, so with just one ball on one side, which we already did at the beginning. Now, try two balls on one side. I think... God, okay. I've used one of these before, but it was a really long time ago. I'm trying to remember what happens. I think when you take two balls, swing them, into these three here. I want to say only these two go up, so let's try it. Okay, I was right. Cool. Now, three. I think it's gonna be these three swinging this one. Oh! Okay, that's really trippy. And then four. Interesting. Okay. Option two. Now I'll try swinging the balls from both sides at once. Okay, so I guess like this. I guess this is what they. That's cool. Take the balls at either end and loop their strings over top of the cradle, so they're <clears throat> so they are now not going to be hit by the other balls. They'll now have three left. Okay. Ooh. 
Oops. Okay, I don't want to get that tangled. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so here's what they want me to do. Just like that. Hmm. Okay, so my opinion on this. I love the dune's cradle, but I don't think this is as fun to do, you know, like, as, it's not as fun to do as chemistry, but um, this is definitely a fun one. Oh, it corrected itself. I, I was concerned for a moment. I, I would give this, I want to give this, this, this Smithsonian set a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Like, it, it's fun, but, you know, it's not as fun as chemistry, in my opinion. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go on ahead and end this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Have a great day, a great month, a great year, a great life. If it's your birthday in this video, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Whee!